हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 1999 एग्जाम दे आर आस्किंग व्हाट इज दिस फंक्शन नेम्ड ट्रायल डूइंग हैव अ लुक यू कैन सी ट्रायल इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न अ इंटीजर टाइप वैल्यू एंड इट नीड्स थ्री इंटीजर वैल्यूज एज पैरामीटर्स दोस थ्री वैल्यूज दे विल बी सेव्ड इन ए बी एंड सी सो फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ ट्रायल फंक्शन सेज इफ some condition then return b let us analyze this condition with some example you can see i have drawn a stack here suppose this is the activation record of main function and suppose main function calls this function trial okay so in trial you will be having these three values a b and c they are the parameters of trial now suppose that from main function when you call this function you pass three values and suppose those three values were in such a way that this condition is true okay so you can just assume any random values such that this condition becomes true so a must be greater than or equal to b that means you can say a is 10 and b is 5 and this one must also be true so c is less than b say c is 3 like this okay now see main function passed these values they will be saved in a b and c and whenever first line will be executed this condition will be true and you are going to return b so this value is returned okay now let us see what will happen if this condition is false so you can see I have taken three values for a, b, and c such that this first condition it becomes false. See, this is the activation record of main function. Suppose main function calls this function named trial with these three parameters. Now a is greater than or equal to b is true. Ten is greater than or equal to five. But this is false. So true and false will result in false. So overall, this condition becomes false. that means you will go for the else part in else part you have written one more if condition so let us check this condition now a is greater than or equal to b this is true already we have seen that this is true okay so what will happen you are going to execute this line that means you are going to return trial a c b now this is a complex line let us label this line as line number j okay so this is line number j in line number j there is a function call you are calling function with some parameters so whenever any function is called a activation record for new function has to be pushed suppose for this function call this activation record is pushed now you can see whenever this new function that has right now been called whenever it returns something that has to be written on place of this function call so whenever it returns some value you will come back to this line number j only so i am writing j here okay that means after returning from this function call you have to resume from line number j now let us talk about new function to this new function the values or parameters that you are passing they are a c and b so value of a is 10 c is 8 b is 5 so we are passing 10 A is ten, B is five. Sorry, yeah, B is five, and C is eight. So these are the values that we are passing to new function. In new function, parameters are A, B, and C. So A will get ten. B will get this. B will get the second parameter that is eight. C will get the third parameter that is five. Okay. So inside this new function. there are these three parameters a b c and their values are 10 8 and 5 like this now let us see what will happen the new function will start its execution from line number 1 okay let us see what is the line number 1 it says if a is greater than or equal to b a which is 10 is greater than or equal to b so this is true let us check this one c is less than or equal to b c is 5 that is less than 8 okay actually i said less than or equal to it is only less than so this condition is true true and true means true 
सो यू आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न बी दिस इज रिटर्न टू इट्स कॉल इन फंक्शन दैट मीन्स दिस वन एंड यू वेरी वेल रिमेंबर दैट दिस फंक्शन हैज टू बी रिज्यूम्ड फ्रॉम लाइन नंबर जे सो जस्ट राइट दिस वैल्यू एट इज रिटर्न जस्ट राइट दिस वैल्यू इन लाइन नंबर जे दैट मीन्स दिस इवेल्यूएटेड टू एट लाइन नंबर जे से रिटर्न एट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू रिटर्न एट टू द मेन फंक्शन now from this discussion i hope that you are getting what this function is trying to do it will always return the middle element for example in this case we passed 10 5 and 3 these are in decreasing order so it has returned b that is the middle element let us have a look at this case in this case main function passed the values 10 5 and 8 they are not in decreasing order see 10 is greater than 5 but 5 is not greater than 8 so whatever values we have passed they are not decreasing but this function calls a new function by rearranging our values we have passed 10 5 and 8 this function analyzes that there is a problem here so the new function call that is made in that function they are rearranged so this c is given to b and this b is given to c now this function it gets rearranged values that means in decreasing order see i know there is a equal to sign here but just ignore it for analysis purpose okay just assume that we are working with values that cannot be equal okay now see this new function it is going to get values in a rearranged order in such a way that they are in decreasing order and it will return the middle element now it is going to return b to this function this function is also going to return the same value whatever it got from the new function okay that means from this one so in this case also we have returned the middle element now let us see one more case suppose this is activation record for main function and main function calls this function trial and the values that are passed they are 1 7 and 4 now have a look this is false because 1 is not greater than or equal to 7 so this condition is false you will check the else condition again this condition will also be false then you will check this condition here in else part there is no if that means if both of these are false obviously you will return trial of bac that means this function it executes line number k okay i'm writing k here so this is line number k and this is line number j now this function has executed line number k which is a complex line because there is a function call in this line number k so i am noting down that whenever this function call returns we have to resume from line number k only now let us call this new function so in this new function we are passing b a c that means 7 1 4 okay so a will get 7 b will get 1 c will get 4 now let us just draw a activation record for this new function these are the local variables of new function and they have the values 7 1 4 okay now this new function will begin its execution from line number 1 you can see if a is greater than or equal to b this is true but this is false c is not less than b c is actually greater than b so because this condition is false you will execute the else part and con uh, the condition written in else if is true so this is true that means we are going to execute line number j so this function executes line number j line number j itself is a complex line so this line number j will make a function call okay and what are the values that will be passed 
values that will be passed they are a c b that means 7 4 1 so inside the new function a b and c they will get these values now you can see they are rearranged that means this function first rearranges the values then it calls a new function and this keeps on happening until the values are in decreasing order now you can see this condition will be true and b will be returned so the value that this function returns is 4 what has to be done with this 4 this 4 will be used at line number j that means here so we have written return trial acb trial acb gives a value 4 okay this function returned a value 4 now you have to execute return 4 that means this function is trying to execute return 4 so it also returns 4 to its calling function that means this one what has to be done with this 4 this 4 will be used at line number k that means here so you have written return trial bac bac is this function call it has returned 4 that means this part it can be replaced with 4 so you are trying to execute return 4 like this okay so that function it also returns the middle element and how it is done by rearranging the values okay so now if you have a look at the four options you might think that the option which says this function is going to return the middle element is the answer i don't exactly remember but i think it was option c option c says that this function is going to return the middle element but that is incorrect because of one case we have already seen that in three cases this function is going to return the middle element but there is one exceptional case when all of the three parameters are equal for example if this main function passes 555 five, five, then what will happen that means what if this value of a is also 5 c is also 5 and b is also 5 let us see what will happen in this case now you can see in this case condition number one will be false this is true because of equal to but this is false here we don't have any equal to sign that means you will check the else part so you'll check this condition this one will be true hence you will execute return trial of acb so you will call one more function in this function the values that will be passed a c b but the thing is these values they cannot be rearranged they will still remain 5 5 5 only okay so this function calls a new function with values 5 5 5 now again something similar will happen here this function will check this condition first it will be false then this condition will be checked which is true again you will call this function only okay so you'll just execute this line only that means one more function call will be made and the values that we are going to pass are 5 5 5 only okay so you cannot rearrange hence these recursive calls will be made infinitely and this function will never return so answer is option d let me see which option it is i think i've misplaced my mobile it is here yeah so option d says none of the above so answer is none of the above option d and i've explained all of this because i wanted to explain the working of this code okay so i cannot simply say that answer is option d because if you give these values equal then it will not return anything okay so it's my will <laughs> it's my way of explanation i wanted to just take some time to explain all of this so that's it yeah have a good day